everyone, Lindsay here. So today I'm going to be cooking one of the HelloFresh meals that I got sent in my box from HelloFresh. So the meal I am going to be cooking is the perfect penne bake with chicken sausage and kale. So if you wanna go ahead and follow along while I cook this and then I'll go ahead and let you know how it tastes at the end of the video, then go ahead and continue watching. Okay, so first things first, it says to get out a large pot, a large pan, a strainer, and olive oil. So, I have my large pot, I have my strainer, I have a largest pan that I have, that I own, and olive oil, okay? All of the ingredients and everything in this bag. So I'm going to need to first preheat and prep. So I'm going to wash um, and dry all the produce, and then I'm pre going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So preheat to 400 degrees. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the water in the pot. So let me go ahead and put, it says to put salt. It's supposed to be salt water, so I'm just going to put salt in here now. And then I'm going to fill this up with water. So it doesn't say how high to go on the water, so hopefully I didn't put too much water and hopefully I didn't put too little of water. So I'm going to go ahead and take you over here, wash the um, produce, and then go ahead and dice the onion, mince the garlic, and get the kale and the thyme ready and then start cooking the sausage. And the kale is already diced up, so I don't think I have to dice it up at all because they send it to me all diced up already. Um, but it doesn't say that it is cleaned, so I probably still need to rinse it. ahead and I put one tablespoon of olive oil in the large pan and I'm going to cut up the garlic really quickly. The onions are starting to get to my eyes. Okay so now I'm going to take all the little leaves off of the thyme and put it in a small bowl. So there's all the time. Uh, the olive oil is nice and heated. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the onion there. Put in the one tablespoon 
with the Tuscan spice, so. Oh, so I don't know how spicy it's gonna be. I don't know if I should. I'll just put two. I'll put two tablespoons. Going rogue, going rogue. Okay, so this is just says to cook it for one minute or until fragrant. for about seven to eight minutes. Okay, now I need to get the sausage in here. So let me get that sausage. It's like kind of like three sausages, but it says to like, not to remove it from the casing. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna pour out pieces of it. Break up the meat even more, so let's try to break it up. And if you want to see like everything that I put that came in the box, like I'm gonna have the unboxing video put up before this, so you can see everything that's in here. And then I'll I'll take um, pictures and and put it at the end of like the ingredients, the front picture on the ingredient card and uh, stuff like that. So then you can see all of that. So I might need this baking dish because I don't know if my pan can go in the oven or not. So I just wanna be, dope. I just wanna be extra careful. So I'm gonna use this baking dish. It smells delicious. I would never think to make this for myself. Like with the kale and the pasta and like Italian chicken sausage. Like I've done Italian sausage in my like pasta before, but not um, chicken. So I know that's probably healthier, so that's gonna be good. Okay, so that is a timer for this, so I'm going to go ahead and add the kale in here now. I'm really glad they sent the kale like all chopped up because uh, chopping up kale and taking off the stems and everything is just too much work sometimes. All right. Got that kale in there, mixing that around. So that's supposed to be two to three minutes. So I should put a timer on for that really quickly. So I don't want to overcook the kale quickly. And then adding the tomatoes into here. So those are just diced tomatoes. Oh, and the thyme. I need to add the thyme in here. That could have been a disaster. Oh, season salt and pepper. So I got the salt and pepper in here. That's for the kale, so I'll check that in one second. Mm. I 
minute. One more minute for the pasta. Is it drainer or strainer? I rinsed out the strainer, so the extra excess kale is gone. So have that simmering on low. I seasoned it. And then after after I uh, drain the pasta, then I'm gonna add this into there, stir it around, and then I'm gonna pour, pour it into a serving plate. I have the drained kale and pasta here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix in everything else into the pasta. Parmesan and mozzarella on top. So this is the mozzarella. The mozzarella. There's the Parmesan. Now that needs to go in the oven for about five minutes. So I'll be back telling you how the food tastes and it'll be all ready. So just try to like cut it down the middle. So then I have two servings. How does it compare? What do you guys think? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna get some of the cheese. It smells good. It smells like really tomatoey. I can smell that thyme. It smells yummy. Okay, I'm trying to get some cheese. I'm trying to get some cheese, some kale. Tomato and some noodle. So it is good. It's good. It tastes very healthy. My only thing is I think I don't, I think I didn't cook the kale long enough. I don't think I cooked the kale long enough. So that's my only thing. Noodles are al dente, so they're good. But, sorry to be talking with my mouth full of food, but the KO is just like, seems like too chewy. Like it's not, it's not, um, I don't think it was cooked enough. So I think it tastes really good. For me, I would probably add more like some red pepper to it. Um, probably the rest of that seasoning they 
packet that they gave me to add the whole thing, which would probably be like another half of a teaspoon. Add some red pepper, maybe some garlic salt. Cook the kale longer for sure. Um, and just do those things and it probably would have tasted even better because I just like, I just thought it was gonna be spicy and to me it does not taste spicy at all. So, um, but it's really yummy. I like that it's healthy, like for a pasta because of all the kale. So I'm always feeling like I'm gonna have pasta and I'm not incorporating a, a mud, I'm not incorporating a lot of veggies. So I feel like this incorporates like so much kale. So it's like really healthy and it does taste really good. It's just that I, for me, I would want it more spicy and I would want the kale cook longer. But would I make it again? I would. I would change things a little bit, but I would I would make it again. So, yeah. So I'm gonna finish this, and then uh, if I have anything else to tell you, I will. So I'm back. As you can see, I did not finish my meal. Um, I just don't really. I'm not craving to eat this at all. I think like because of the kale being undercooked, it's way too chewy. And it seems like there's too much kale in general for my liking. Um, and I'm the type of person, like for pasta, I love to have a lot of sauce. I love a lot of sauce. So this just doesn't have enough sauce for me. Um, and I know, like, that's probably just how this one was supposed to be. But um, I just, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, it's a good meal. It just would have to be for someone that actually would crave this or enjoy this the way that I'm not. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not craving it. I don't want to finish it. <laughs> um, I'm like trying to figure out like if I can give this to my aunt or you know give it to somebody that's going to eat it all because I just don't want the food to go to waste now. You know so um, like I'm the type of person that like I'll crave something like maybe I'll crave like my mom's homemade chicken soup and I'll make it. I'll make it at home and then I'll have like this big old pot and I'll eat it for days. And I love it. Like every single time I sit down and eat it, I love it. Or like maybe I've been maybe I'm craving sushi and then I'll go on a, like a sushi kick and I'll love it. But like with this, it's, it's good. It's just not something that I want and um I just can't push myself to eat it because I feel like I'm forcing myself to eat it, unfortunately. So um, I'm gonna have to say that the baked uh, penne pasta is a, with the chicken Italian sausage and kale is a no for me, unfortunately. So, um, but I just wanted to come back and let you guys know that because I don't wanna be, you know, leaving you guys with false advertisement that I loved it. Um, you know, uh, so I just want to let you know that. So, yeah, but sorry to leave the video on like a downer in a way, but um, I just wanted to let you know my, my true thoughts. So anyways, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.